Hello, I'm glad you could join us. I'm Rick Zanotti, and this is Lectora Live, your inside track into Lectora. For the last eight weeks, we've been talking to a lot of different people and interviewing them, and that will continue as part of the show. But now we're adding tutorials. So this is really Lectora Live tutorials. And in this podcast, we are going to show you how to use Lectora better, how to really take advantage of the features of Lectora, and I will be joined by a great group of people, including folks from Trivantis, the mothership, as well as people from the community and others who want to contribute tutorials. So stay tuned. We've got a lot of good stuff coming. Today, I'm going to talk about how to, what you do from the very beginning. We're going to start at the very beginning. When Lectora first comes up, you're greeted by this wonderful welcome screen. If you look on the left of the screen, you can start with a blank title. Now, Lectora looks at titles as a project. You can have many titles comprising an overall project, but a title in and of itself is one unit, one unit inside your LMS or however you deploy this. Moving over a little bit, you can also start by using the design wizard. This allows you to create a title with backgrounds and other objects that give you a real good start to begin with. It's actually a fun way to start a project if you don't have graphics already pre-done. Moving over to the right a little bit more, you can also start with one of the templates that you've created in the past, and that lets you reuse your content as many times as you want. So Lectora does allow you to create your own, your very own, templates. If we move again a little bit more to the right, we are now at the Recent Titles area. As you open and create titles, Lectora will keep a list of nine or ten of these titles ready for you to open again. Moving back towards the left and the bottom a little bit, you've got your Resource Center. Here you can look at sample files, you can look at tutorials, the Lectora University, as well as the community. So in this case, we want to start today with a blank title. So we click on blank title, and that brings us to the wondrous and cute Lectora UI, or user interface. Now, if we had hit the Escape key, that would have also taken us to this. So whether you hit blank title or the Escape key, you always wind up in the same place. If we go to File and click on File, you'll notice down there we can also say Start a New Project or Title. So let's click on that. Now here you get some of the same options you got in the beginning, but you get a little bit more. Here you can choose your themes, you can choose other objects, you can also have uh, templates, if you will, for mobile, for websites, for whatever you're doing, uh, photo albums. So this is a little more information that you get on the welcome screen, but again, it basically is the same thing. So we'll escape out of this. Notice on the left you have the the title explorer, if you will. Now the title explorer can be shown as something that looks like a file explorer where you see every page and chapter you create, or you can go into thumbnail view. So if you click on thumbnail view, now it's more like PowerPoint where you're looking at the slides or pages in Lectora that are part of your chapter or section. Now up here at the top, you'll notice that you can input chapters, sections, and pages. Sections right now you can't because there's no chapter. But if we click on chapter right now, we've just created another chapter. Let's go back into the title view or title explorer so we have a little bit more room to look at things. And you'll notice now we have a chapter. Here you could put a name for the chapter in. Let's call this Intro. So now we have a chapter called Intro with one default page. Let's say you have a naming convention for your pages. Let's go back and insert a couple of pages. So we'll hit on the page, Insert Page, twice. So now we have two pages or three pages inside of our chapter. Let's go in and rename them. Like our naming convention at Relate is something like L01, P01. So Lesson 1, Page 1. So now we're going to go to the next 
page, and we're going to call that Lesson 1, Page 2, or 02. And finally, we're going to add the third page, L01, Lesson 1, Page 03. So now we have three pages in our course. If we go back to Thumbnail View now, you notice we have three beautifully blank slides. We've has actually added no content yet. All we've done is create the chapter and the pages that are included in that chapter. Moving back up to the ribbon menu, Latora about two versions ago started using, I think it was in version 11, started using the ribbon menu, very similar to what PowerPoint uses. And the reason for that is it's easier for instructional designers and others who are very familiar with Word, with PowerPoint, with Excel, to adapt more quickly to the Latora interface. It works really well. You notice that there are similar named ribbons, and we're going to click on each one just to start. So we'll just click across all the ribbons so you can see what's in each one. So we'll click on the, whoops, not the file one. Let's click on, so we're on home right now. Let's move on over to uh, the design. And then we can go to insert. And let's just continue clicking on each of them just so you kind of see what's in them. We will get into more detail on each of these as we proceed with further tutorials. Now, in Lector Inspire, you have some other things that come out too. Over here, you have your content area on the right. It's right against the side of the uh, screen. Now, the first thing you're looking at is your, um, your media library. Here is where you create content that is available to you. Then you have your, uh, so let's move our mouse off of that. You notice when you have your mouse on it, it opens. When you move it off, it closes. Let's go back to the My Library. Now these are objects that as I'm inputting and entering things into the course, they will be part of my library for that course. And it makes it very easy to drag content out, reuse content, organize content, and feel and know where you are at any one time. Let's get out of this again. So we're going to move off that and it'll close. Let's go down to the bottom one. That is your stock content. So here is where you can have stock content such as graphics, avatars, videos, audio, whatever kind of stock content you're importing in, including things like your uh, media library from the eLearning Brothers. Now let's get off of that again. We will cover all of these in much more detail later on. So that's it. A very brief introduction into Lectora, how to create a title, how to navigate a little bit around the user interface. You'll find Lectora is very easy to use, and as you get familiar with where things are, your speed will improve dramatically. Well, there you go. That was the very beginning. That's the foundational part of Lectora. What do you do when you start? Your choices will make a difference to what happens in your title. So next week, we're going to get more into titles and things that you need to know. For Lectora Live, I'm Rick Zanotti. We'll see you next time. Thanks.